So I'd like to start with where this book came from. And you say in the book that it all started really with the curiosity of a child. So Dr. Trisankos, would you tell us a little who Annie Panaglia is and the role that she played in making this book happen? Yes, Annie Paniagua is the daughter of Dr. Um, and, and um, Christina Paniagua here in Tyler. And we dedicated the book to her. It, it says in the, in the beginning to Annie Paniagua and, um, and her, her parents gave us permission to share the story, but it, it did start back in 2018 when she um, had, had been to mass with her parents and she was a little inattentive. And after mass, her parents asked her to um, research the Eucharist online to look up something to, to help her um, understand reverence and what it means. And she came across Eucharistic miracles and, um, and was so fascinated with a, a YouTube video she saw on the Buenos Aires miracles that her father sent the YouTube video to Bishop and Bishop Strickland sent it to me. Um, and asked me to give talks on Eucharistic miracles in the diocese. And, um, and uh, as an answer to prayer, because I wanted to see the data for myself before I started talking about it and writing about it, the lead investigator of the Buenos Aires miracles miraculously walked up to Bishop Strickland outside of a chapel in Sydney, Australia, when he was visiting there and handed him the books with the data I had been praying to see in it and Bishop Strickland sent it to me. So be careful what you pray for because the thing I, I prayed for landed on my desk, literally. So we had to write the book. Um, the rest of the story, Father George can tell because then it was his idea to put together the beautiful scripture and tradition section.